Hey, what is up guys? My name is Alan. Welcome back to another video. So first of all, I just want to tell you guys that I am so sorry for not uploading too much on the YouTube channel. Um, you know, there was a big typhoon here in the Philippines and there was flood everywhere. I wasn't able to concentrate and then sometimes there's no water. And then I also got a new job. So there's a lot of things going on for my side for the past few weeks, but I'm trying to get back on track for making youtube videos but today's video is actually ue5 valorant how to do real stretch again because if you probably noticed some of your ways of doing a stretch doesn't work anymore so yeah welcome to a video that does exactly what it says in the title okay so what do we do so first of all i want you to open up your run windows and r go into percent local app data percent press ok you want to go ahead and scroll all the way down to valorant Go to saved, go to config, and I want you to delete the first few things here. Now, there's a lot of numbers and whatever. Press delete on that. And then I want you to launch Valorant. Now, don't worry, your keybinds are still going to be there. Graphic settings would be reset though. But um, yeah, after you do that, I just want you to open Valorant. Okay, and once Valorant is open, the first thing that I want you to do is head over to your settings and then go and change the settings that you want. Just make sure that display mode is on windowed full screen aspect ratio method is on fill and then press apply on that now up to you whatever you want personally i just want all low quality maybe texture and medium and then i'm just going to go ahead and insert my personal settings this doesn't really matter and it doesn't affect whether the stretch would work or would not work so um yeah i think that's about it for me you can still change the settings don't worry with that um, i just want you to focus on the graphics quality settings here crosshair controls equipments whatever all of that you can still change so no worries um, this part i just suggest that you do it first um, but yeah after that you just want to go ahead and close settings and exit out of valorant now after exiting out valorant we can go back to the folder where we were like a moment ago um, now as you can see there is still two new folders uh, these are basically the folders earlier that we deleted but we have to do that just to make sure that everything is basically clear and ready to be you know stretched anyway uh these are basically the accounts logged onto your pc and the more folders like this you had earlier the more accounts you probably logged in on valorant but yeah let's go into windows client and then as you can see we're going to be seeing game user settings and riot local machine what we're going to be editing instead is the game user settings now from there on the game user settings i'm just going to go ahead and zoom this a little bit just so you can see it in the recording Maybe a little bit more. Mm, there you go. I think that's good. Um, but yeah, anyway, here we're going to be changing some things. Just follow and just do exactly as I tell you. So as you can see here, it's true, true, false, false. What we want to do instead is make it false, 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 false. So that's that should be four false in a row. And then the resolution, you can see the resolutions here. What we want to do is change this into the stretch resolution that we want. You can do 1440p x 1080p or sorry 1440x1080 or whatever which one you want now i played counter-strike for a long time so i usually just stick with what i what i feel like works for me so it's always going to be 960 1280 by 960 so this is a very fast tutorial but if you didn't catch what i just did there i just changed every single resolution here into the 1280 by 960. as you can see here we have last confirmed full screen mode we just changed this into two and then um, right here on the full screen mode on the bottom if you don't have this by the way you can just type it yourself just change it into full screen mode too now after that we just press ctrl s file and then save now you can do the next step or you also can not do the next step so what i do is i press ctrl s or file save save it and then i'll go back to the folder once again this is the folder you can go ahead and right click this properties and then click read only now it also still does work without the read only but this kind of just ensures that valorant cannot overwrite the settings that we've made but for this video i'm just gonna show you that it actually still works without the read only checked now so i'm gonna go back here press save go back to config and now we're gonna be changing the same things on uh the numbered one so this one actually doesn't have anything in it so this is probably the account that i logged in so i'm gonna go ahead and press that remember the number you can go ahead and go into windows client and then you're going to see the game user settings that i and i so similar thing here uh, as you can see you can still change the settings here on the scalability group 
but we're just going to copy the same exact settings that we've done on earlier. So again, for false, so false, 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 false. Change all of this into the stretch res that you want. Resolution X is 1280 for me. Some of you may have it as 1080 X 1080 or whatsoever, uh, whichever one you guys like nowadays. But uh, for me, I'm just going to stick with 1280 by 960 as I stated earlier. So 1280 by 960, 1280 by 960. I think everything is 1280 by 960. Great. Once again, we're just going to change last confirm full screen mode into two. And then since this is not uh, the, the other stuff was, is not present here, we're just going to go ahead and copy this full screen mode equal to. And that's about it. Now we're just going to press control S. Once again, you can do the read only thing here by right clicking it, going to properties and then clicking this and then apply. But I'm not going to do it just to show you that it still works. Now we just go back and back. You can do that to every single account that you have. So don't worry, you know, somebody comes over, they log in their account. Um, it's still going to be the normal resolution that they probably usually use instead of this stretch resolution. But anyway, we're just going to go ahead and right click our desktop, go into display, click our main monitor, we're play Valorant, and we're going to change this into the resolution that we've set it to. So for me, my stretch res once again is 1280x960. My head is cutting off the tab here, but there you go. Now, all we have to do is launch Valorant. So right games, play Valorant. Again, you just have to select the same resolution that you want, but yeah, that is all depending on you. This is UE5. This is the latest version. I'm recording this about a week after the new update. It's currently August 7 of recording this and it should still work in more than a week or so because we're not downloading any programs. We're not doing anything weird. We're just letting the game load um, right now. We just did a little bit of settings change. But as you can see, if you go here into practice, let's go into the range. Let's click play. And there you go. It is real stretch. It's not the stretched UI. It's the real stretch. If I go into... Oh, wow. I whiffed that so hard. Anyway, if I go here, as you can see, you can see the bots. They're, um, they're stretched. This is... Uh, I'm not stretching this through OBS or whatsoever. This is really how I actually see it. Some people was just faking it. Here you go. I'm even going to go ahead and turn on the video capture on my phone. And this is exactly what I see right now. As you can see, it is stretched. Nice. But yeah, once again, you can do any resolution that you want. This is not bannable. This is all legal. Although Valorant hates it when you do stuff like this. That's where they're trying to minimize it. It's just the same things for every other game. Fortnite, Apex Legends. They, they can't ban you for doing this. Unless maybe competitive play. I don't know. Some people on the competitive market sorry, competitive play tournaments out there still does the stretch res. Now, just a few comments here. Um, some of you may be using NVIDIA cards or AMD cards. I'm using an AMD card. This still works on the NVIDIA card. I've tested it on the laptop. You probably have seen it earlier when I showed you whatever I'm seeing on the screen. Just a few things. If you are using an NVIDIA graphics card, make sure to set that your display is actually on stretch. Uh, GPU scaling, doesn't matter. It can be display scaling. Just make sure it is on full panel. But if you are using an AMD graphics card, same thing. You can go ahead and go into the AMD software. Adrenaline, go into display and make sure that the scaling mode is on full panel. Um, because if it's not, then it's just going to do the 4x3 or whatever resolution you've done into the usual black bars on the screen. But um, yeah, this is real stretch. Hopefully this video did help and um, if it did then hit that like button, subscribe, share this video with your friends and I will see you guys in the next one. Hopefully I have a real tech video on the upcoming video because uh, yeah, we're getting back on track. If you want to support me, then feel free to drop by on my other social medias as well. Anyways, that's about it. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Have a nice day.